Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini November 18, 2022. The power of positive thinking makes anything seem possible today as Mercury and Jupiter form a trine, opening your mind to possibilities. Good news can arrive, or you might enjoy sharing something special that brightens someone's day. Making plans for your money, business deals, and problem solving can be successful. A fair, optimistic, or moral outlook enhances your reputation or professional position. You might get the chance to clarify a misunderstanding or your opinion on a matter. You can feel particularly motivated to achieve your goals and build a more comfortable life for yourself. The day also brings Venus into your solar 11th house for a stay until December 9th. This transit puts you in a good position to connect with like-minded people. Friends can bring more pleasure into your life in the upcoming weeks, perhaps because they're more receptive or available. On another level, you can find more enjoyment in coming up with new plans, ideas, and goals for more fulfilling, happy activities. It's a good time to network, experiment, and explore, and you develop a healthier relationship with your need for pleasure, joy, and friendship. Exhilarating dreams always lie ahead of you. Today, mental mercury will sit like royalty at the crown of your chart in your solar 10th house, pounding his staff to be heard by mighty Jupiter. While this will most certainly turn your attention a bit more toward your professional life, it could bring such exhilarating news that you and your significant other feel like you're over the moon. Share the information with them and then sit down to discuss ways that you can create the lives you both have always wanted side by side. The stars are in your favor. What makes you happy? Focus on your most loyal bonds during the last quarter moon in Leo. With Luna in your opposite sign, you might feel notably confident about the ambition and vitality of your professional commitments. Meanwhile, you may notice an upswing in your networking opportunities when Venus enters Sagittarius later on today. Expansive Venus in Sagittarius is ready to get you back out there. You might feel more social now than ever, especially with teaming up with inspirational professionals to accomplish new heights. Expect to feel like the professional world is your oyster. That Mercury is spending his final hours in your career sector and right up to when he leaves today at a friendly aspect to Jupiter in your income sector, is benefiting both. This comes just as Jupiter moves into his final seven days in retrograde motion in your income sector, with his mission to explore untapped income potential getting a boost from the professional momentum being created. Today you may feel like the entire weight of the world is resting on your shoulders. So many good intentions gone to waste, so much action taken without love or grace, so many shadows blocking the light. When you feel so much of the world's pain, your only hope is to see the good intentions in the failures of others, and to hope for peace so that you can be a beacon for others. Take comfort without you, we'd be lost. The energy from this day will go a long way towards making solid decisions today. It's not your mind that receives the greatest boost today, but rather your spirit. Your personal sense of values and ethics will be greatly enhanced. This lends a lot of energy to making decisions about issues that aren't black and white in nature. Consider the human factor while working today and be sure that the decisions you make are ones you can live with down the road. Take your time and consider all of the factors before acting. A friendly aspect between Mercury on the career and Jupiter on the income front that peaks today is more than just building on what is already an auspicious time on both fronts. This will peak during Mercury's final hours in your career sector, boosting your confidence and your ability to think outside the square. At the same time, this comes just as Jupiter moves into his final week in retrograde motion in your income sector, giving you the confidence to embrace the doors open to the past, second chances and an opportunity for a do-over. As the moon leaves your relationship sector today this will take the pressure off both you and your relationships, but as is the case with each monthly visit, in the process leaving you with a better sense of what you want from your relationships and what they need from you. A friendly aspect to planets in your communication sector before leaving is a chance to give anything flushed out yesterday a voice.
our eyes in the sky. Today's transits have a great deal to do with the moon's energy, and the way it flows through the day is like an emotional blessing. Starting around sunrise, we move away from impatience and into a more empathetic disposition. Today, we can understand things from another person's perspective in a clear light, blessing us with the necessary comprehension and patience. You can carry the compassionate vibe from the morning and add to it the creative problem-solving skills you need to find solutions to any issues. When Mercury aspects Pluto on November 15th, you're thinking about the commitments people have to you and the commitments you've made to them. Remember, you're allowed to update the terms and conditions of your partnership whenever you believe it's time. This is a great day for sitting down and conversing with your significant other. The sextals could provoke transformation when you are ready to explore a new adventure or path with your partnerships and arrangements. Be open to what the other party wants to explore as you cannot control every outcome. Since the Sun in Scorpio will also try Neptune retrograde in Pisces. A day after Venus left your relationship sector Mercury leaves today, though as the planet of communication not before doing what he can to ensure the communication lines are open. With Venus and Mercury gone this just leaves the Sun, who will keep the solar spotlight on your relationships for another five days. Meanwhile, the moon's return to your romantic sector today will give the spirit of romance a boost. Patience and sensitivity are accentuated in the late afternoon. If you manage to not let the intensity of your emotions get to you in the latter part of the day, you can form an unbreakable bond with the people you keep close to. Show them your willingness to get in tune with them. In the morning, the last quarter moon in Leo invites us to reflect on events that transpired during the November 8th Taurus full moon lunar eclipse. Predictably, we are still in it. Though certain cosmic writing may be on the wall, the dust has not yet settled, and there is little closure to be found at this moment. The Leo moon sees us desperately seeking validation as we navigate a scorpionic pressure cooker. The fact that we are unlikely to receive the support and praise we desire forces us to lean into our creative faculties for stability. Remember, the eclipse medicine we have been provided is the ability to cut ties with projections, conditions, or relationships where we are locked in uphill battles, doing things the hard way. The time is right to assess what those factors are for you. Where are you still pushing for absolution instead of cutting the cords keeping you in self-defeating predicaments? While the moon will leave your romantic sector today, just having it here as Venus return to an adventurous part of your chart will have ongoing implications. At the same time that romantically charged lunar vibes run their course, the planet of love's new mission to bring the spirit of romance and adventure together is off to the best possible start. Following this, Mercury in Scorpio trines Jupiter in Pisces, helping us to adopt a positive attitude despite circumstantial turbulence. We are able to get the universe's joke and laugh at ourselves instead of being self-critical. This influence balances dark humor with levity. Perceiving the bigger picture allows us to not feel so stuck and to think up new ways to face our concerns with grace. The first step is forgiving ourselves. The second is forgiving others.